Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last video I was talking about the get dialogs and in today's video I'm going to talk about the uh, get bottom sheet um, which is very similar. Uh, it's just a little bit of a different use case and maybe some different way of implementing uh, the widget itself. So anyway guys uh, let's get straight into it. So over here I have the uh, app from the previous videos and I've removed the get dialog when you press on these um, cards. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, use the floating button and just change it to uh, uh, get dot bottom sheet. Okay. And it's similar where uh, there's no default bottom sheet, but you can just um, add a widget to the bottom sheet so what I found was if you just put a container in and you'll see that there you don't actually see the uh, bottom sheet so it's a lot better to actually use a material widget first and as you can see here oh, let me just save that and I'll have a child uh, column. Ah, there you can see the bottom sheet uh, coming up and down. Now, um, also what I like to do with this is give it a little bit of um, the material uh, uh, border radius. give it a radius of um, 15 so there you can see at the top there's a little bit of a radius next up uh, I also want to just add a container so the container will have a height of 5 and width of let's say uh, get dot width divided by three. Uh, by the way, guys, the uh, get dot width and get dot height is the width and height of the screen itself. So the same way as you will have via media query. And uh, in this case, it's very easy. You just call get dot width or get dot height and it uh, automatically gives you the screen's resolution. So anyway, uh, let's continue and then I'll put a box decoration also give that a border radius yeah as you see here um, let's just also put a margin on there Okay, that's better um, so next up what I want to do is make a list type and give it a sort of similar to this circle avatar actually I'll just copy this maybe And now we got to get data. So for that, I will actually wrap the column widget and maybe a controller will be X um, data. So now I'll just make it zero. There we go. All right. Uh, next. Let's put a title in and <clears throat> also I'll just copy this title over here. Just make it zero. So the first uh, sort of element in the list. There we go. And then um, 
finally uh, subtitle and let's just say oh uh, actually what I want to show you guys is a rich text I've just copied the um, rich text and uh, basically a rich text is where you can add many texts together. I know uh, this is a common issue in Flutter where you maybe want to put uh, either an icon next to text or uh, uh, some sort of action on top of the text. And rich text is probably your best friend here where um, you can actually, I'll just show you what I've done here. So you can see here uh, this whole um, text over here has a recognizer on where you tap it and it goes back it navigates back uh, and there's also an icon uh, next to the um, text itself so you can add um, multiple you know recognizers icons and text together and um, sort of use that uh, in this manner rather than having a row or some sort of wrapping widget I found this is a lot easier. Okay, so next up, I am going to add a divider. You can see over here, maybe the color is not so bright. There you go, it's a little better. Um, and then I will also uh, padding. Okay, now I'll just put the alignment left side. Okay, yeah, now I just have to maybe wrap this one with the center. And I think that's about it. Now let's just add another one. Um, padding. Let's just call this one something else. Maybe we'll call this uh, demo list. Now let's put another divider down here. All right. <clears throat> now let's put another list tile down here with the leading icon uh, and then a title that says text that says create new list so this is all just for a demo so that you guys could just see a, a, a nice example of how you would use a bottom sheet and then another one and 
let's call it so there we go uh, maybe just another divider So, um, so there you have it guys, uh, the bottom sheet from GetX, uh, very easy to use and uh, could come really handy when, uh, especially now that you don't have to actually pass context around, so you can just create a class anywhere with all your custom um, dialogues, custom bottom sheets and just call them rather than writing it all down in one widget tree uh, like this example but anyway guys uh, that's it for this video and let me know if there's anything else that I have missed and please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already I will see you guys in the next video bye bye